So I was thinking while I was away, like I yeah. got actually really, I got mad almost <laughs> at the. <laughs> it's like not complimenting me on my body. Like, I'm sorry, but if nobody complimented me, like I, I put a lot of work into my body. <laughs> like I, I make sure, like I exercise my willpower because I choose you know, healthier things to eat. I don't sit down and eat Snickers five times a day. Like, I'm pretty sure that if I could do that, I would. Because mm. <laughs> Snickers are amazing. Yes, they um, are. Especially the like, Snickers ice cream. Oh. oh, my God. Like, normally I'm not a person that likes nuts in their ice cream, but, man, <laughs> like, Snickers got me good. Um, mm. But, like, and I started thinking about it. It's like, she probably doesn't like that. Be, and because sh there's a lot of personal feelings emanating from this particular article. It's not objective she, at all. <clears throat> and, like, I think the reason why she doesn't want people to be complimented like that is because, like, she's never worked on her body. No. Maybe that's the case. Maybe, like, the reason why she's, like, accept people that are overweight because they're overweight. It's like, we're not accepting the fat. The fat is actually very unhealthy. If I care about you as a person, I'm going to try and motivate you to go to the gym. I'm going to have you work on your body because I care and because I love you and because I want to see you live and I don't want to see you crushed by this weight that you've put on for whatever <clears throat> reason. Like, I want to help you get better mentally and physically. Because that's what happens when you start to work out and you start to exercise. And this is why I was getting really angry about this. Is because I fucking work and I want people to compliment me. Yeah. Like, and, like, I, I want you to be like, hey, you know what? You haven't been as depressed lately. What have you been doing? And I'd be like, I'm working out and I'm doing stuff for me. And I'm, I'm making myself see myself in a more positive manner so I can be better. I agree. Like, isn't that something that you want? Like... That, uh, uh, oh, oh, that's so irritating. It's like some people find it like, and there are some people who are overweight that do work and they have transformed themselves and you can look at their faces. It's like they are smiling in one picture and kind of not in the other. Mm. And I'm pretty sure you can figure out which one they're smiling in. I think she was what she wants to say is what a lot of people like her want to say is that, you know, don't you, you don't need validation from other people that you are a good person. You only need to care. You you only need to care about it, which technically is correct. But it's nice when other people see you as not a piece of shit. Yeah, and you know, here's another thing: is she saying that you know? Because she's judging fat, is she saying that obese women can't be beautiful? Because I think that's a load of shit. Mm -hmm. I ha like I know people who are obese that are fucking gorgeous because yeah. they take care of themselves, you know? And I'm not saying that, you know, being fat is bad. Like if that if you're comfortable with it, that's fine, but be healthy. Exactly. It's like it's like saying uh, you know, if, 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 a, a lot of those people say that, you know, well, I don't have any heart disease, ergo, me having 300 pounds plus doesn't affect my health. It's like saying, well, I smoke three packs a day and my lungs are literally fucking tar black, but I don't have cancer, so it's fine. No, <laughs> it's not fine. Yes, yeah, you right. can go your whole life. My grandmother smoked like a pack a day ever since she was in ever since she was like fucking 15 years old she's still alive she's like 90 plus smoked mm -hmm. every single day of her life no sign of cancer yes it happens smoking cigarettes doesn't automatically mean you will get cancer one day the same as overeating overstuffing yourself with fried food does not mean that you will have heart failure one day right maybe that's the thing you might not. That's not a safe bet to go on. You know, it's not a safe. Oh no. well, maybe I won't get it. Well, maybe you're not gonna hit get hit by a bus tomorrow. You know, maybe you will. Yeah. <laughs> that's no, so it's... true. <laughs> like that. That's entirely accurate. That's just how I look at it. Okay. Oh my God. You know, we've been doing this for an hour and a half. So, and we're already on twenty. 
Oh, sorry, not already. Only on twin. So uh, let's let's see what she has to say next. Share writing by women. Don't paraphrase their work in your own Facebook post to show us all how smart or. Oh my God! Hang on. Where is she getting that this is a serious problem? Like woke you are. I fucking I, that word makes me literally gag. I guarantee, get it's a guarantee. Mind you, guarantee language. The woman said it better in the first place. Uh, I, I, I have nothing. <laughs> I have nothing. Again, she's being incredibly sexist. Uh, share writing by women. Uh, okay. Um, I will if, if, if it's a good th th thing to say. If a woman makes a good quote, if, if a woman writes a good book, a uh, good story, I will definitely share it. I, w mm -hmm. I won't take it as my own I don't say don't paraphrase their work in your own Facebook post to show us all how smart or woke you are the point of sharing something that someone else wrote is actually the definition of of showing everybody how smart you are because if I if I share something that you know I found in a, in a, in a science article I want to show people that I understood it and I want to talk about it if I'm an idiot, yeah. I won't understand what science is. If I'm a moron, I, you know, f then why would I share it? Why would I share something I don't understand? I mean, that, that you know, that, that she's probably... What I'm guessing from this is that she's in her she's teens. She's so hateful. She's in her fucking teens. Probably... Oh, no, she's, she's not in her teens. She's, she's middle-aged. You think so? Oh, yeah. She's totally... She's like within our age range absolutely mm. absolutely within our age range because she's appealing to my niche or she's trying to appeal to people that are in my niche uh -huh. and you know I, I it's horrible that i feel sexist saying that but i ha like <laughs> now you're a woman you can't be sexist you know what I mean? oh yeah that's right i have tits in her opinion i'm right all the time yeah. and i'm like a goddess and you just need to sit there and worship at my feet and drink my golden exactly. piss exactly um like yeah no because she uh yeah like th there's no reason that the, a teenager a teenager today and i i hate to say this and i guess i'm being a little biased because i'm only surrounded by teenagers in the united states but teenagers in the united states today do not have the mental capacity to tr to even think about putting something like this together. They would not be able to compose something this intellectual. Right. And that's even stretching it, calling an intellectual. Yeah, piece I was of about. <laughs> I was about to comment on that, but. <laughs> but you know what I'm. You know what I'm saying, like. Mm hmm and you know, this is and I because this is being recorded, I want everybody to know <laughs> that I have been in horribly abusive relationships. As like have I. the the men yeah, and as have you. Like we are no stranger to, to pain from the opposite gender Absolutely. at all. Absolutely. And I mean, like you I know that you weren't around when I was dating my or with my first husband but like he fucked me up he's the reason why i can't think of half of the words that i want to <laughs> like mm. i he has mentally fucked me up to the point where like most of my vocabulary is still missing and i still need to sit there and think about things and like even in this like when i'm talking to you i have to stop and i'm trying not to stutter but I never am. I, I've never had any kind of vehement disdain for men like she does. And I'm pretty sure, like, well, I'm pretty sure that either she and I have had very similar experiences with men, or she's just so scolded by one asshole. <laughs> yeah, I would guess. So. And this this one asshole is a bro dude. Or dude bro. Dude bro. <laughs> yeah. Bro dude. Yeah, see, there's the abuse coming out. Mm. Like, the dude bro. And, uh... She's just, like, because... 
that that's what I'm getting from this. It's like that's who she chose to be with, who she surrounded herself with, and then she ended up getting into a lesbian relationship because the woman treated her better. <laughs> and then this this is what is coming of it. Like that that's that's what I'm thinking that she that's her angle. But but you know I mean. It's not like that there are n no abusive women in the world and that men are not being as, as sexually uh, abused, uh, physically and mentally abused. Uh, I, I was, not the sexual part, but the other two parts, I, I got hit by my ex-girlfriend uh, and I pretty much got mentally scarred uh, and emotionally scarred by my ex-girlfriend as well. Uh, but yes, yes, yet did. I am in a wonderful and loving relationship right now that lasts a year and and I know for a fact it's going to last me a lifetime because we love each other and, and it's beautiful. But the point is, I don't have this mob mentality that these that these uh, poor women have because you know that they're being led on by 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 you know the mob by the herd. Uh, mm -hmm. You know. It's just every day is like behold a new Christ, <laughs> you know, as, as as a perfect circle would say, behold a new Christ, behold the same old horde. It's the same fucking thing with with a different buzzword uh -huh. every single day, you know. It's just, dust yourself off, pick yourself up, and and move on with your life, you know. It, I I know it's not the best thing to say when you're you know obviously fucking deranged, but yeah. I mean. If the, 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 just believing in these hundred things and believing that you're going to make a world a better place for women by doing these 100 things and exercising these 100 things in your daily routine is not going to make a, 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 a bit of fucking difference. I guarantee you that this, that feminism today, modern day feminism, does not work in bettering the life of a woman in in th i'm not talking about our world i'm talking about those fucked up third world countries what are they doing what are they doing to help those poor women who are being abused every single day who are being tortured killed there was I, I I forgot what what bumfuckville was I forgot the name. Uh, a wife cheated on her husband. They literally used cement, actual cement, to staple her vagina shut. Actual cement. That that is that's not a movie. It's not a book. It's what's actually happening. And what is this woman bitching about? You called me fat. Fucking die. Yeah. I'm and like that's, if <laughs> if she's you you have a fantastic point because you're absolutely right. Like there is a uh an African um culture where women are to try and prevent rape and to try and prevent sexism, girls are tamping down their breasts with hot uh wooden um logs mm. so their boobs don't grow so they don't get sexualized like that would be a great place for real feminism to be directed and exactly. i know that it actually has been like I, I, like the people who believe in feminism actually have like that 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 tribe is or the people that do that is a perfect example because I know that now, like the the girls don't have to be castrated, like they're they're stopping female castration, mm. which is a huge like I'm, huh, I didn't even realize that female castration was a thing until I think I was in high school and I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fucked that up is... shit is happening, you know, and it, it, not even to talk about. Uh, f I, I, I there was a documentary. I forgot about the name of the documentary. It was about a um, a feminist. She was a, a, an actual, real life feminist, who made made a documentary about men's rights and men men's men activists and talking about their rights. Uh, there was a scene where uh, they a, a group of them 
to discuss men's rights uh, gathered in a hall and the guy said wow there's 20 people here this, this is a huge turnout this is the biggest turnout yet um, and it got me thinking how what my mother said when I was a kid and uh, we were talking about um, we were talking about uh, uh, Women's Day and I asked her I was mind you I was like five or six years old and I asked her uh, when's Men's Day if women have their day, when do men have their day? And she turned to me dead ass, looked me right in the eye and said, sweetie, every day is men's day. Um, it's a funny anecdote, and you can go, ha-ha, that's true. But these uh, modern-day feminists don't realize how actually hard it is to be a man in just this decade alone, let alone all the other ones. Uh, I'm not. I'm not talking about um, being drafted to, to go to fucking war and, and kill each other. I'm not even talking about uh, uh, being told to man up every single day because you're a man. You, you you're not allowed to show your emotions. You're not. Al you have to be strong and you have to support your family. You have to man up. How many times have I been told to man up by my parents when I was in distress, when I was feeling emotional? But should they told me? man up you have to be strong I'm talking about rights as not just as men as human beings number one that is completely normal for men is genital mutilation why is it a tradition to cut someone's penis in half literally the Take the skin yeah. and cut it in half. It's normal. It's tradition. Why? It is, it, it, and then people say it's just a piece of skin. Well, oh, absolutely yes, not. That is it, actually when when they get when you get when the circumcision happens, they actually end up taking away the most sensitive parts yes. of the penis hmm. because, like, a lot of nerve endings are in, um, like the the. the yeah, the foreskin, and where the foreskin ends up landing after it has, um, uh, like, been pulled over the glands, th like, men that are circumcised will never have an orgasm as good as men who are not circumcised. And that is just a biological fact, because those nerve endings are gone. Yeah. They do not get the kind of, they do not get the similar stimulation. And I'm sure... I'm, I'm like, I, I can guarantee you that we're gonna get to this point once we actually start moving down, which we will soon enough. I promise. I just, I just want to get this out. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm certain, 100%, that we are gonna get to a point where she's gonna talk about abortion and custody of children. Uh, uh. It is, it is very, very sad that in almost all cases when a man and a woman get a divorce the custody is being given to the mother because she birthed the child yeah more so often than not men get no say no say when it comes to for example abortion you have sex one day it happens right mm -hmm. your lady gets pregnant you want a child. I, like, for example, I have a girlfriend. She doesn't want the child. I want the child. I have no say in it. Nothing. She has the full say in, in, in abortion. But I have to pay for it. When I was, I was looking at a talk show. I forgot the name. They're all the fucking same anyway. Um, <laughs> when it, it was, a, it was like an, it, yeah, it, it was like, um, a lady talk show, like, uh, uh, I don't know, millions of them exist, so, you know, you, you can't even get the name wrong, because if I say one thing, you, you immediately think to, to the other thing, because they're all the fucking same. Uh, where there was a, a, a woman there that said, um, when I got together with my husband, he s uh, I said that I want two children, and he said that he, he wanted one. So when we got married, we had a child, but I want another one. 
but I'm on birth control right now. She asked the host and the audience, should I trick him <gasps> by not taking my pill and having another child? The host, oh. the host took the mic and said, address the audience, applaud if you think she should trick her husband. Everybody, every single fucking person, but like two of them, two ladies in, in, in the front, bless their heart, everybody else in the fucking audience clapped. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Tell no. me. Tell me how that is fucking fair to the man, to the guy, That's to the dude. Not. Tell me how it's fair that he has a decision in his life. He loves the woman enough to marry her and, and have a child with her. I don't know how, how, how much more you can love someone. But he says, listen, I do not want another kid. It's just, I, I can't. I always imagine my life having a beautiful woman, which I do, having a beautiful child, which I do. I don't want anything more, please. Then she, she does some fucked up shit like this. And you know the mob mentality because they all clapped. You know that this fucking happened. It wasn't a joke. It, was, it happened. And it happens. Men's rights are <laughs> fucked as much as women's rights are fucked. The, it's not mutually exclusive, but there are there are no meninists. There are feminists that actually go to men's rights meetings and destroy them. They yell outside. They tell you, "No, it's not right. Only we can do." The 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 thing that I said when when the guy said, "Wow, what a turnout! Twenty people, right?" Mm -hmm. That's the high point of their meetings, and they've been doing this for twenty, thirty plus years. A woman's rally can gather up to millions. Millions oh, yeah. screeching fucking manatees on the street. And I I want to do I I do want to touch on the uh men's rights things because I actually have a friend who is in a very unique situation with that. Um he was in a relationship with somebody who was absolutely awful. Um and uh, they ended up having a kid together, and uh, she left. Mm. And if she, like, if she's a bad mom, like I'm not, I I can't. Like she's a bad mother. <laughs> right. She's bad. She's a bad mother, and she's a bad person. And I am eternally grateful that because uh, the state that this happened in is a, a mother state. It's one that sides with the woman hmm. on uh, decisions like this. And I know that uh, my friend had to go to court dates upon court dates upon court dates upon court dates until the court was actually tired of her not showing up that he ended up getting full custody when it should have just been the first time. It should have just been one and done and and this isn't the first kid that she's lost custody to mind you mm. yeah <laughs> let's throw that one in there this isn't the first child that she's lost custody of this is the second so i don't understand why the court didn't say let's look at her file and see how bad she's fucked up in the past because i guarantee you if it was the other way around it'll be done like and done if yeah, if the if the man had like lost custody of a child and never showed up, it would be done and over mm -hmm. in half of the time, like guaranteed. Or if uh, if you know she she was a good person and she was supportive, but they were split up, like he wouldn't get the kid hardly ever probably yeah because it, it's all in the fi uh, favor of the female despite how awful they are and it's like they're not looking for the best interest of the child they're looking for the best interest of what the public is wanting to see they're they're wanting to push statistics they're wanting to push like the the public's opinion you know what I'm saying? Or they're catering to the public's opinion. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, they think that the mother is better. It's like, that's not necessarily the case. And in the case of men's rights, yes, if the father is better suited to have the child, give it to the fucking father. Yeah, I like, completely agree. 
seriously like i'm and i'm really glad for my friend and, and his kid right now like i'm super glad that they really have nothing to do with the mom like every once in a while she'll rear her ugly head and it's just like whoa <laughs> slow down satan <laughs> you have no tread on this ice mm. you know yeah, yeah. and I mean, it's like men's rights are very important and if you're going to be a feminist you need to be fair because that is what you are trying to support is yeah, equality. fairness and equality yep so yes if you are a feminist go to men's equal rights and it might seem a little weird at first but you know what so were women's rights rallies when they first started it was a little weird at first yeah so i mean have an open mind be accepting be fair and this is what this person who has written all of this has completely missed <laughs> yeah i don't i don't agree with 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 the the notion of of just because you gave birth to the child you immediately know what's best for them you know yeah there are terrible mothers out there. There are terrible like fathers pandas. out there. You know, there are terrible people out there. You mm -hmm. can't. You can't say, "Oh, it's you know the it's uh, the mother knows more because the baby was in their body and connected to them." Yes, connected to their stomach, not their fucking brains. Hello, ding ding. But uh. That that was a long ass rant that, <laughs> that we went on. <laughs> That's gonna be a segment for. I'm gonna have to divide these in like five thirty minute sections. Um, so let's move on. Uh, I think this. I don't care. I'm hanging out with you, and this is great. <laughs> uh, this is one of the few times that I actually completely agree. Uh, uh, number twenty one. Buy sanitary pads and tampons and donate them to a homeless shelter. Just do it. Absolutely correct. Um, actually, yeah. Help. Like, I, as a woman, I've never actually thought about that, and I appreciate this uh, little tidbit of information. That's a really fantastic yes, idea. Yes, I completely agree. Uh, along with all the other necessary things, uh, food, water, uh, money. Uh, if you have uh, something clothes. to get, clothes. Yes, if you have to give to the lesser, give to the lesser. If you if you are in your means. Um, I completely agree. That's that's one of probably one that I am going to uh, honestly and without bullshit completely agree. Buy sanitary pads and tampons. Don't to the hold the shelter. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Like I I like that. That is probably the best advice that you, that is not inflammatory at all. Yeah. That she could possibly give because she ends it with just do it. Yeah. You know what? fucking right yeah. do it i, do I it. completely agree i completely agree with the uh, number 21 number 22 how much of what you are watching reading listening to was made by women gender balance your bookcase i don't like romance novels men of 2018 i'm speaking directly to you your bookcase is sexist not oh it's wait no not you your bookcase is now sexist remember that wait. little tidbit the tomorrow your nail clippers are going to be sexist because they were never used by a woman. You don't allow your wife, your girlfriend, or daughter to use your nail clippers. They are sexist. If they touch a woman's nail, they will literally combust. This is where we are right now. It's 2018. Gender balance your bookcase. So, Did she forget that J.K. Rowling was a girl and uh, that everybody's got a fucking copy of Harry Potter? <laughs> like... And I mean, that woman wrote how many books? Like a bajillion? Yeah. <laughs> and movies are still being made by her and in her world? Like, did she forget how powerful that woman is in the literary and cinema world? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, mean, I feel uh... like I, I feel like she wrote that and didn't really look at what females have done. Um and she also, like, I'm sorry, but if a woman writer writes a good book that I'm into, like Jake Har uh, like Ms. Rowling, 
Yeah, I'm going to put it in my bookcase. Yeah, rowling. Rowling. <laughs> put that hour in it. Rowling. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, I I I I I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, people that I mean, nobody fucking reads books nowadays, anyways. So that's a non-issue. Uh, but even pe people that <laughs> people that actually read books, I don't think they care about the gender. I'm sure that if you have fucking Ernest Hemingway, uh, you have Virginia Woolf as well, uh, because. You know, uh, uh, what was it? Jane Austen, uh, fucking Emily Dickinson. Uh, 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 God, it's just, um... oh, what about all those Nancy Drew books? Dead. That's actually that actually has a female protagonist. I think what she was trying to say is that by balancing your bookcase, why don't you get books that have female protagonists in them, just to see like what the story is like from their point of view. No, 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 no. That she says no, no, no. I... She says how much of what you are watching, reading, and listening to was made by women. Yeah, and I, I feel like that's something that could be really inaccurate, and I, I think that's really closed-minded, and I don't think that she actually paid attention to what she was saying when she was saying it. I think what she was trying to say is read things and 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 take things in that have a female protagonist or or, or the female is the main character. Like I, uh, I don't th I don't think that 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 that's the case. I think that the author, the author of movie book song is female. That that's that's what I actually think cuz I I don't I don't think she's 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 referring to actual protagonists. Okay, because I think that's what she should have said. She should because have said then, it, yeah. yes, but but she didn't. No, because then she... I then I can agree because like a story with a female hero like Laura, like Laura Croft and uh, Indiana Jones, like yeah. the stories are very very similar, yeah, but at they're... the same time they're very very different because one is from a man's point of view and one is from a female's point of view, but yeah. you get the same kind of action and it's cool. So like, it's the, that's it, it's the same thing that. You know, since I, I I I like I like that we're doing this. So one day we may tackle um, Anita Sarkeesian. God, I, I fucking I, I adore Anita Sarkeesian. Uh, she's just a, a, a complete lunatic, and I'm I'm, I'm fascinated by psychopaths. <laughs> um, she did a video series on uh, uh, video games, damsel in distress, in, in you know the trope of women in in, in video games, and uh, and she said that. Um, they're being over sexualized and that uh they're they always show their bodies in sexual ways and blah 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 nobody cares uh i can tell you from experience i've been playing games my whole life literally as soon as i i, I figured out that i that i could breathe i had a controller in my hands um I do not give a fuck about a woman's ass in a video game. You know what happens? You boot up a game, you see Catwoman on the screen, you're playing Batman, you see Catwoman, you go, oh, wow, they really made her ass look nice in HD. That's it. For the entire yeah. 50 hours, 100 hours of the game, I'm focusing on where I need to be going, what I need to be doing. I don't give a fuck about how Catwoman looks like. Nobody, a real person, you know, not a fucking robot, a real person doesn't give a shit. You know, there's a scene in in a Laura Croft game where she goes, uh, she she puts on a diving suit, um, and she she dives underwater, finds a cave, and the camera pans to her ass because, of course, it does because it appeals to the demographic. You know, how to get a yeah, man's attention? Definitely... How to get a man's attention? Show a pretty woman. Put a hot ass in front of him. Yeah, <laughs> because you know, um, um, the the majority of gamers and the majority of 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 people that are like the the watch these doofy comic book movies and play these games are men are yeah men between the ages of fucking 15 and 30 you as well, a I think company you can stretch it to 50 now <laughs> uh, yeah uh, okay fine 50 uh you as a company need to do what's profitable uh what sells Beautiful women to men. What sells to women? <laughs> Beautiful men. I mean, have you ever watched The Fucking well, Bachelor? Not even that, but I mean, think about it this way. And this is coming from a female gamer. Like, I feel, I've, I've always, and I, I used to play Laura Croft on the computer when she was nothing but a bunch of polygons. <laughs> and 
the the guy that I was dating at the time in uh, high school, and I mean, I worked out and I ran and I looked fucking great, and he said that I looked like Laura Croft, and I played that game, and you want to know how fucking amazing I felt after that? Mm -hmm. I felt baller. Like... <laughs> What's wrong in portraying women in video games as sexy and beautiful? I thought that that was a compliment to be sexy and beautiful. Yeah, and Yeah, then you I, have... I, I know you have bullshit like Bayonetta, right? Like, Bayonetta is... is you know, she wears high heels and kills demons. I go, okay, I can agree that she does not need to wear high heels and fucking spandex. But Batman <laughs> wears high heels and spandex, and nobody ever bitches about Batman and Robin to say that they're queer. But yeah, fine. But <laughs> have you not seen Batman and Robin? They have bat nipples and bat ass. In the movie, they explicitly show I, bad ass and bad nipples, and Robin ass and I, Robin nipples. I Who really cares? liked Robin <laughs> ass and Robin nipples in that movie. I I really liked that movie. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I even liked Arnie in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> and that nice uh, blue suit of his. Yeah. You're not sending me to the cooler. <laughs> <laughs> his lines were amazing. Yeah, the best one. <laughs> Like, that's, if you're having a Batman marathon, that is the one that you reach when you are at the peak of your most intoxicated and or inebriated. Yes. <laughs> because then it gets dark after that, and that's when you want to be coming down. Yeah, the Nolan, the Nolan ones terror. are, in, in the, 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 the Nolan ones, you have to be like, oh shit. And then, and then later on, you can, you can, the, the Batfleck ones, the Batfleck ones, you can be like, oh fuck it, you know, let's get drunk again. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> it's like, wait, we need to take more shots. Hold on. Yeah, because, you know, Justice League was just an abomination. Absolute I'm going to be completely honest with you. I fell asleep in the movie theater when I was watching that. It's horrible. I Oof. don't remember most of it. Like, I remember a couple of scenes with Aquaman. Like, I remember the scene with Aquaman um, when he had the lasso of truth around him and he was talking mm -hmm. serious and then he was talking truthfully. Like, I thought that was really fucking clever. But at the same time, it's like, I don't... Aquaman was never like the brooding emo overlord fitness god that they make him out to be. Also, he's blonde and, and with short hair, but whatever. I, 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 I don't mind the changes because later on he gets like a more bohemian look and he actually like is portrayed as and they as, uh, you know, the king of Atlantis and they really kind of flesh out his story a little bit more rather than some weird some guy that wears weird colored tights. Oh. Or has a weird color scheme and and just talks to fish. I mean, <laughs> they they did a lot more with his character uh, in in the late '90s and uh, definitely in the thousands. You know, late and... '90s is when it started, and then in the thousands it just blossomed, and he turned into this really awesome character. And he stands for shit, and he gets a more bohemian, like long-haired look. And I don't mind that they picked him for the actor because he's got the body type of king of the king of atlantis yeah cal like, drogo is hot he, yes yes he is and please let him walk around naked so i can sexually objectify him yeah. and conan oh my god <laughs> like, <laughs> there's a reason why i was watching the screen <laughs> Um, there's I, there's I like actually Conan. like yeah I can tell uh, there's actually like both versions <laughs> there's like two scenes from that movie that I actually enjoyed it's like when Barry um, was in that what was it at the DMV or somewhere I don't know he was filling out a form and then this guy was pestering him in the back and he like super fast drew like shit on his face with the sharpie and then the guy didn't notice because he was super ultra fast. That was kind of that yeah. was kind of fun. And when he that asked, that was great. Yeah, and when he asks Bruce like, "What's your superpower?" and he goes like, "I'm rich." You know, that's yeah. yeah that's that. That was actually kind of funny. Also, you know that what was I just a good line. you know what I just that realized. Was... Hmm. What we're doing right now is so fucking boring and 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 insane that we actually went on about a twenty minute talk about the fucking Justice League and Aquaman movies. Well, this is because we're talking about sexual equality, and we're being equal about sexually objectifying hot men on the big screen. I know, but, and, but, but when you so uh, easily transition, heroes. but when you so easily transition from the main topic to something completely fucking different, because this isn't anything that really like this is something that frustrates us, and we're trying to make a point that you know people like this are overbearing. Like this isn't us. We like to talk about fun shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I guess so. And we're very much live and let live people, and I, I totally understand why you are irritated at this list, because it's overbearing. It's, it's and... nonsense. It's insane. And we're, it's... and we're on fucking 22, for fuck's sake. You have 78 to go. Oh my god. <laughs> so let's, let's just, let's just... Fucking hell. 23. Okay, we just got... We, we... Oh my god, can we just skip that, really? Please, no. come on. No, 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 no. No, 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 Feeling... It's like, really? Nah, so let's say that, okay. I gender... I'm tired of being yelled at by this angry woman, Lanos. <laughs> we gender balanced our bookcase and our movies and our media in general. Are we feeling proud of it? I would say yes, by your standards, yes. Are there women of color there? Trans, queer, and disabled women. Poor women. Always make sure you're being intersectional. Now I have a question for you. Go ahead. Off of the top of your na off of the top of your head, name one disabled female actor. Actor. Actress. Actress. <laughs> you, you mean Bro, mentally or just physically? Because uh, mentally, I can name a few, but. <laughs> Uh, physically, I, because she's talking about physical ailments, obviously. Physical people, like, people, like, missing an arm and a leg that are actually in movies. I can't. Off the top of my head, I, I honestly cannot think of, I'm trying, I'm trying real fucking hard. I'm stretching my brain out to my limits, but. Like, I can, I can think of one, but I can't think of her name. And that's because she's, like, from, like, way back in the day. I think she was from way back in the day. <laughs> When I try and remember it, it feels like it was given to me way back in the day. But the picture that I have of this woman is in, like, a light blue uh, dress. And the dress is like a skirt. And she's singing and she's got one leg. And the microphone stand is right where her other leg should be. And, like, it was a light blue dress. I think she was a brunette. I'm not sure. I'm going to look on the internet <laughs> and just see if I can't find her one-legged female singer. Oh, you know who, you know, I, ju I just f um, remembered. That deaf chick. What's her name? M Marilyn? Marley? Oh, from uh, fucking Supernatural. Yeah. M Marley, M Marley something, for fuck's sake. Yeah. I c oh, my God. Like, I can, I, I can, I, like, I, I can name a few male ones. I don't know any. No, uh, the guy the, the from Breaking Bad, he's he actually has cerebral palsy. Um, um, Hugo Weaving, I don't know if you know that, but he has he suffers from epilepsy. Uh, Michael Who? J. Fox, Hugo Weaving. Do I know that person? I probably do. Uh, fucking Elrond. Oh. <laughs> and the guy that played uh, the Agent Smith. In the Matrix, yeah, yeah, same yeah. Same person. Yeah. <laughs> he has epilepsy. Yeah. Uh, Michael J. Fox. He has Parkinson's. Yeah. Uh, 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 um, that guy from CSI. He's an amputee. The 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 doctor guy. I don't remember. I have no idea. Uh, what his name is. Fuck. No, I don't know either. But yeah, I can I can. They're not. They're not. <laughs> it's hard to hire a fucking disabled person for a movie uh, like pe disabled people that write books I don't know I don't read as much um, you know, fictional literature I'm more of a you know science kind of guy I like to read about space and shit because I really like you know space so mm -hmm. that's what I read I read like science stuff but what fascinates me she said p poor women Name one. Name a poor person that's a good writer or a movie fucking producer. Or a. Well, <laughs> J.K. Rowling was poor when she first started out. Yeah, but poor, but like poor the as in on one. the fucking streets, all right? Not poor as in I spent my paycheck yesterday, so I, I gotta eat pasta till tomorrow, you know what I mean? That's not poor. No, I think. I think what she's saying, um, when she's like feeling proud of your bookcase, like the people inside of the stories. Like, are there people of women of color in the stories? Is there, you know, are there trans, queer, and disabled women in the stories? Are there poor women in the stories? And I'm sorry, but My Fair Lady was the best rags-to-riches story 
to date about a woman. I like, still think she's talking about authors. I, I might be wrong. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I still think she's talking I, about authors because she, she stated was made by women and then she goes poor women, black, yellow, fucking red, green. You know? I think I think it's the context of the books. I don't think it's... Uh, I, I don't think it's supposed to be like, did a woman of color write the book? Did a trans, queer, disabled woman write the book? Or did a poor woman write the book? I figured it was part of the context why of the book. Why did she say made by women then? Well, no, like, she the on 22, yeah. Like, 22 and 23 are not interlinked like that. Because uh, in 22, she's like, how much are you watching, reading, listening to something that was made by women? And then she was like, how many of women of color or are there women of color there? Um, and that's like <laughs> within the bookcase. It's so like, I would fuck. say the stories, okay. like not necessarily mm -hmm. because poor, like, <clears throat> I, I'm just saying, like, I, I just think it's the context. Like are the okay. people in the book, you know, women of color mm. or women, of Trying the to LGBT clear. community yeah, or disabled yeah, yeah, yeah. or poor, okay. you know, are there okay. women characters that are trying to overcome something amazing? All right. Like, all right, I, I can, I can buy that. Uh, but what I shouldn't buy, apparently, is media that demeans women's experiences, valorizes violence against women, or excludes them entirely from a cast. It's not enough to oppose those things. You have to actively make them unmarketable. Uh, so. Um, what she failed, what a lot of these people that, that, that a lot of these feminists that, that say that women are over sexualized in video games, uh, 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 uh women are being acted uh, upon violently in media, in movies, in, in uh, comic okay, books, videos, uh, they fail to I realize see. that I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you, I'm, I just want to finish my point. What she, what they fa fail to realize is that um, a life is not being inspired by art. Art is being inspired by life. If there mm -hmm. is an imbalance in the force, then people are going to paint it, people are going to write about it, and people are going to make movies and video games about it to depict actual life. If the other way around was possible, then I would have an Iron Man suit in my fucking garage. I do not, because it's a fucking movie. Um, I think what she's trying to say here, and this is something that I'm going to have to agree with if, if, if this is the way that she's saying like don't buy media that demeans women's experiences so don't buy movies that are there for the explicit purpose of demeaning yes, of course women yeah you know don't buy movies that valorize violence against women exactly no, no, that's no, like I... all of fox news because all fox <laughs> news is about trump and trump <laughs> trump supports all of these things <laughs> um you know don't um Okay, the excluding them from a tire, from an entire cast kind of thing, like, the first thing that popped into my mind was Cirque du Soleil, and, <laughs> <laughs> like, that's an entirely male cast, I believe, or at least it used to be, and that was part, and or if not all of the appeal of, well, aside from, like, I shouldn't say, it, it was definitely part of the appeal for me. <laughs> I mean, look what <laughs> happened to watching... fucking, look what happened to Ghostbusters. <laughs> I haven't seen the the Ghostbusters the Good. female Ghostbusters Good. movie. I I feel like the I I feel like that was a completely unnecessary move, and I don't support that kind of stuff. Like, and I, I this this is where I'm probably going to get thrown under the bus. Uh, <laughs> but like I I get the idea of you know there being equal rights and equal stuff and like I said I'm a feminism I'm all for equality but sometimes women have to put their ovaries away and realize that men do some things better and I believe that an original story with an all male cast with that kind of chemistry and the actors like 
there's more to just the Ghostbusters story than the story and the premise yeah, of the, the world people, that the story yeah, is put actors. into. Yes, yeah. and some like I'm uh uh what's his name? I can't Murphy. Like mm -hmm. he is very spontaneous as an actor. He does a lot of impromptu things. Like he he's more so an improv actor than not. And the cool thing about those actors is that they've worked with each other before in other movies. Yeah. Like I want to say Dumbo Drop has half the fucking cast. Like and and these girls like I I just even watching the previews because like I said I haven't watched the movie and the reason why is because watching the previews I'm like this is 100% scripted yeah. there's not a lot of chemistry between the people there's none they don't really read off of one another they they say the funny lines and there's a bunch of ha ha ha's and that's it and like I got that just from the previews and you know like i'm all for rewriting of a real story if it's gonna be really good like you know i i've been going to the reboots so i'm not going to lie and some of them are really good and some of them are really bad and some of them i just don't bother going to because i don't think it's gonna be that great and you know i because of the reviews that it got i felt like i was justified in my opinion of it like yeah a lot of people were like it wasn't that great as i thought it was going to be and i'm like why did you think it was going to be and there is you have to admit that there is some charm with the era that that movie was put in yeah and i'm trying to remake that kind of special effects with what we have today it's just not possible nope it's we like... have better technology <clears throat> we have built better effects like we can't <laughs> put that kind of weird grit into something without it looking dumb hokey you know what i mean <laughs> i think uh, uh, with all the reboots and the remakes they, they're trying to like the diversify it for example teen titans why the fuck does starfire need to be black why she's not what? yes she's they, they they got a black actress that has like fucking reddish pink hair like no i mean Source material is, is called source material for a fucking reason. You, you can't just rewrite an entire story to fit your fucking socially accepted narrative. Uh, if they're... The, for, for example, making a fucking... A rebooting Friday and then starring all white actors. <laughs> you know, black people would lose their shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you can't do that. Uh, but to get back on point, um, I do agree... With what she says, don't buy me that the means women's experience is fine. Uh, that's true. If if they like make a movie about Rosa Parks and then they say that no, she wasn't an activist and the whole bus thing was actually uh, made by a white dude, that would that would demean the whole Rosa Parks yeah. e existence, right? So yeah. I I completely agree with that. Okay, uh, but what like you have to actively make them unmarketable. There is nothing that I can do as a guy nothing if if i well there's nothing that i can do as a woman i'm Except, sorry but if i'm yeah. more attracted to something that has an all-male cast i'm attracted to something more you know i'm more attracted to something that has an all-male cast does that mean that the women actors are like am i demeaning or uh lessening the skills and the talents of these actresses no i'm just saying that in the in the paradigm that they were put in they just didn't perform as well as the guys did like if i'm not you know, a CEO of a company that makes those movies, books, or whatever, I can't do anything about it. I can't actively make them unmarketable. I can't hold up a sign that go, hell no, we won't go, and go outside of fucking Walt Disney with that shit. I can't, it's not gonna change anything. All I'm gonna do is gonna end up in jail for being a fucking loudmouth. That's, that's that. That's, that's, that's the I mean, whole thing. I, I can, I can totally agree with, like, actively standing against something and not participating in purchasing anything that you know valorizes violence against women or excludes them entirely from a cast if they are doing it on purpose and the only way that they would be doing that on purpose is if they like cast mulan as a dude right you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah it's like then yeah like a movie that did that i would be really upset about because that's fucking up the story yeah. um and that's one of my favorites and that's got a hero oh my goodness 
and a female hero in that story would be so much better than a man like that yes absolutely i can i can stand behind that um i mean whatever you want to call it I, there's a word that i want to use that i just can't <laughs> they they already fucking made uh a, a fucking mulan story with with Dudes dressed, g g trying to be women. It's called white chicks. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's the same thing. I she she wants one. to be a man to do that. They want to be a woman to do that. It's the same fucking premise. <laughs> I love the movie White Chicks. I don't care. <laughs> Me too. I don't care. It's a great so movie. So good. <laughs> All right. Um. Now that we now that we went to fucking white chicks of all things. Uh. <laughs> Pay attention to stories with nuanced female characters. It will be interesting. We already talked about this. I promise. <laughs> okay, fucking Ray from Star Wars. No, she's yeah. not. She's a complete Mary Sue. And that's terrible. She's an uninteresting character. She's boring, bland, and does not make the the. Star Wars universe any interest any more or less interesting she's just not interesting and she, and I know that the actress actress that, that that plays her I forgot her name what was her name I don't I don't really pay attention to actors or Jesus actresses Christ. names unless they've like seriously made a, a super de duper impact but as far as I'm concerned she's Ray. <laughs> yeah, she's she's Ray. Uh, the thing it's is, like, I I know Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> because I've had a crush on him for forever. Right. Like, I I know Ray is Ray because she's Ray. <laughs> she uh she she went on a, uh, a a tangent. She had a little tantrum, uh, saying that uh, she doesn't understand what Mary Sue means. She thinks that that's a, like a derogatory term, which is not. Uh, and she also says that um. M male protagonists in movies cannot be a Mary Sue because there's no yes, they can equal. Be. Uh, they're actually they're called Gary Stews. They're, yeah. There's or or I think it was a Marty Stew or something like that. But yeah, it does happen in men. Men like yeah. can be very uninteresting in movies, and they can be a Gary Stew. So yeah. Um. Let's move on, because this is weird. Uh, if you read stories to a child, swap the genders. Uh, Why? No, I will not, because it adds nothing to the story. No, it doesn't. All the dwarves were female. Fine. Uh, how would you... Just imagine this. You you you're reading. You 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 have your 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 daughter, your son in bed, and you're reading Cinderella. Right? <laughs> How the f blazing, no. helling, f cunting fuck would ever make sense that a guy loses his fucking shoe and then the the girl goes to the village and puts shoes on guys and goes, oh shit, that one doesn't fucking fit, does it? Why would a guy wear glass fucking heels? To be hot? Yeah, but see, that that's the whole gender swap thing. Mm. I think, no, I, I think... I, I mean, if you really want to go for it, go for it. If your if your kid wants to grow up to be a pretty pretty prince in a, a <laughs> dress that changes color and in glass slippers, <laughs> oh my god, do it. Oh like, my god. I, if, if I have a son and he wants to be a fucking princess, I'm gonna totally doll him up. He will be the belle of the fucking ball. <laughs> Gender swap the Lion King. To... Simbina. Fucking shit. Oh, good lord. Why you gender swap the Lion King, it just gets weirder. I know, it gets <laughs> fucking weird. Just do as it was intended. God yeah, like, man. I'm not going to gender swap the stories. That's unnecessary. That's just, that. that's the, I think of all the points that we've read so far, that one's just the weakest. That one yeah. just doesn't affect anything. And what? how are they supposed oh, to be making women's lives better? Mm. How is it supposed to improve my life? Like, are you. Mm, if not. you want to improve the life of a woman, then fucking remember to put the toilet seat down. <laughs> and it doesn't help us, it helps you too, because in the middle of the night, 
if you were the last one to take a piss and you put the toilet seat up, but in the middle of the night you like ate some like I don't know bad hot sauce or whatever, and you need to go take like the shit of the lifetime that you're going to have, and then you forgot that you put the toilet seat down, you're gonna fall right down into the bowl. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, that's true. Like it is not <sighs> just for me; it's for you. It's mostly for me, but there's some of it for you too. Like put the toilet seat down. That's fantastic. Or if the dishwasher is full, like. A lot of people, like even myself, I, I do chores and I praise my partner, you know, when they do the dishes. Mm. Like, I think it's great, even though it, everything should be equal. I still feel because of the shittier relationships that I've been in when I get help with chores around the house. I feel good because I feel like I'm in a relationship with a partner mm. and I'm not being subjugated to all of the chores because I'm a chick. Right. This, I think that point 27 is the, I I'm, forget the word I'm looking for. It's late. It's already fucking one in the morning, if not. Yeah, it's like stupid late for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you want to... No, 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 we are fucking finishing this. I'm not doing a fucking, oh. What's the word I'm looking for? Ah, yes. I know. I, I remember with my tiny male brain. This point 27 is the literal definition of fucking contradiction. She says, watch women's sport and just call it sports. Then why have... Th First of all, I, I don't care about sport. So I don't, I don't watch any kind of sport. Um... Why then call it women's sport if you want it to be called sport? Well, because like like I, this is this is such a weak, like I, yeah. So what if like I I mean sports ball is sports ball is sports ball is sports ball to me. Huh. Like, and this is something that I feel is a little weird because I remember when the WNBA became a thing. And that was huge because that was a huge step in women equality. Like I like that that was amazing that you know we got our first WNBA team. But I the WNBA and the NBA guess what they all play basketball and I'm not going to differentiate between male or female if basketball's on I'm not going to be like oh that's the men's basketball or that's the women's basketball. We nobody does that. They either I... go, this is basketball, or this is college basketball. Right. Uh, I, I, I think that they are calling it women's, you know, basketball, women's football, whatever, is twofold. Uh, number one is because, now correct me if I'm wrong, I don't believe there is an... Uh, a sport in which women and men can compete together in the same team like you 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 don't see i'm not now even even in the olympics they they don't compete against each other in like because, they, they're not mixed I mean... you know they're not they're not mixed and secondly because it's such a male dominated uh group you know s s a sport mm -hmm. When you say football, you expect to see a team of football. men. Yeah. So when when you say women's football, women's uh, <clears throat> you know uh, um, fucking basketball, then you can differentiate between the two of what you're going to watch on television. It's just for your convenience to see. You know, maybe you don't like seeing women play basketball. It's not think sexist. You just they're not interesting in it. Fuck it. I, I like to see fucking Kobe Bryant and odd whatever. Uh, you know, I don't I don't even know because I don't I don't you know I'm not into sports. So I don't know a woman's the athlete. Yeah, I, uh, I don't I can't really name any women athletes either. So don't feel bad. <laughs> yeah. So that, that that's that's. I don't watch. I don't watch sports. <laughs> and and you can like for, for example in, uh, in the Olympics. Mm -hmm. You have categories that state men's this, women's this, men's this. It's not 
it's not just a, a, a one-sided specific point that say, oh, it's a woman thing. No, the, uh, men are being categorized in sport as well. You have a men's 100-meter dash, uh, men's bobsledding, men's fucking skiing, you know, it it it's there. It's this fact. You can go look it up if you want. It's it's on the Olympics. You, you, they're categorized by men and women because uh, Hold on. I uh, think we... that we are biologically different. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, we we are. We are totally uh, biologically different. And give me one second. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, give me a second. No seconds allowed, Lanos. You're a man. Oh, I had to pee. Did you remember to put the seat down? <laughs> no, because my girlfriend's not here, so we're good. <laughs> I if you fall in the toilet in the middle of the night. No, because when I go to either take a shit or pee in the middle of the night. I am, I guess, smart enough to actually turn on the light so that I can see what I'm doing. I, you know, piss on the walls and the ceiling and my fucking eyeball. Well, I mean, you should know where the toilet is. It's your house. You don't need the light on in your house to find the toilet. Uh, I guess that's true. Yeah, uh, like, I... And, you know, like, what if your girlfriend's over and you don't want to wake her up so you don't turn the lights on? Uh, my girlfriend is, like, overly sensitive when she sleeps. I can literally just snap my fingers and she would wake up, so you c I can't really oh. avoid that. <laughs> you move the wrong way and she's awake. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, where were we? Uh-huh. Uh, this is another one that um, I both agree and see reality. Uh, oh, yeah, absolutely. With, with draws. So, okay, you, yeah, you, you can go ahead. I mean, this is not a male-dominated institution. <laughs> oh, I get to read the letters. Letters. You get to read no, the I... letters. W-I-T-H-D-R-A-W-Y-O-U-R-S. <laughs> oh, Lanos, I find your spelling so offensive. <laughs> don't you think I can read? <laughs> I, I do. I just don't think you can talk. No. Ba -ba -bomb. I can't. Cue the Seinfeld music. <laughs> oh, okay, so withdraw your support from sports clubs, institutions, and companies that protect and employ rapists and abusers. Absolutely. Absolutely. But then. Do this. Cripple then, them financially. Uh, then, uh, however, uh, you have to look at it from a business point of view. If you are running a company, like a multi million dollar company, let's say you're. you're you you are the CEO, the lead woman in uh, uh, Blizzard Entertainment, right? You are the Ooh, head of nice. Blizzard Entertainment. You have to juggle billions of dollars. Yes. You find that somebody in customer support is a rapist you, you, and, and an abuser. And it's not an accusation. It's an actual fact. You were there. Your oh, first, shit. Your first instinct as a business head is to cover that shit up so the newspapers don't find out so that the police are involved 
but the, the the whole news is being covered up because because it will result in media backlash well okay like the like, i don't think so because um if like if i was uh trying to protect the person who was r the rapist yeah that's that's something that i would want to try and i would try if i was uh i uh, that no like i i, no, I mean think protect that your is... company's reputation not the person the, yeah, the, the person will be sent to, to jail my, yeah no to protect my company's reputation like if i if i was running blizzard and i found out that one of my employees uh was raping somebody or sexually harassing somebody to the point where like it was borderlining on a dangerous situation i'm sorry but that's a no tolerance thing i would call them into my office i would sit them down i would talk to them and then after that i would hand them their pink slip and then send them off on their way because yeah. i do not support that so therefore like they would not be in my employ anymore no no no, no. i'm not i'm not arguing that I'm, I'm just saying keep it out from the public Oh yeah, I would try and keep it uh, as private as possible, that's, and that's my, to make yeah. sure that the victim was definitely, you Taken know, well of. looked after and is okay. Like yeah, if they yeah, needed yeah, therapy, yeah. I'd fucking pay for their therapy. Like, no, 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 no. That's that's I, yeah. That, that's that's a that's a non-issue completely. Uh, I, I completely agree with that. I'm just I'm just saying that you have to realize. Uh, they say withdraw your support, of course, but you have to you have to be also on the side of the of the person running the business and realize that sometimes you have to cover this shit up. Um, I mean, you're an American; people are covering up the truth from you every single day, so you kind of know how it is. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I I agree. Um, don't support bad people. Uh, hello, basic uh, human decency. Uh, it's not. It's not a woman-based issue. It's a people-based issue. Don't fucking be mean to each other. Take care. Right. Of, t take care of your boo boos. That's that's like, fucking first grade. That's kindergarten shit. Uh, yeah, everything I needed to know I learned in kindergarten. Yeah.